Hey, and welcome to Flux, Web Design Becoming a Professional. My name is Ron Segal, and I've been a designer for over 20 years. In this course, I'm gonna share with you the process and skills that are required to do great web design. I've started out pretty much like you, doing small uh, website, not really sure about the process and the right skills to do it. And I've worked my way up to being able to design high level, strategic, big, complicated, and expensive websites for clients. And I wanna share the exact process and skills together with you to not only make sure that you can design better website, but also help you build the confidence to take on these bigger, more interesting projects and charge more money for them. Now, the course that you are going through right now is actually the second iteration of this course. After we have over 2,000 other designers go through this program, we have learned not only what worked for me in my 20 years of experience, but also what have worked out for them and where they struggled and where they needed more help. So this is the second iteration to make sure that your learning is much more efficient and effective. So in this video, I'm gonna cover what are the right mindset for success in this course, and I'll also share how the program is structured and everything that is included and how you can make the best of it. Let's start off by talking about the right mindset for success. First of all, I want you to acknowledge that we're trying to go through a very deep transformation here. We're going to have you be able to do things that you were not able to do before. And we're gonna build new skills for you and we're gonna build confidence for you. And as you probably know at this point in your life, nothing worthwhile in life is easy. And this transformation might be difficult for you as well. There might be setbacks, challenges. There might be things that you either don't understand at the first glance or don't succeed at doing at first out. You might be frustrated that you're maybe not as good as other people or compare yourself. So things are going to be hard and I want you to go in understanding that things are going to be hard and that's completely okay because as I said, everything worthwhile is hard to do. I also want you to acknowledge that becoming a true professional is something that takes time, right? Um, nobody becomes a professional or a world-class expert over a weekend, and that's okay. This course is meant to fast, fast track your learning process and make sure that you progress way faster than any other way possible for you. That being said, becoming world-class is a lifelong journey and we're gonna help you to understand what are the steps that you need to take, but it's not going to be over a weekend. Now, one thing that is going to make things easier for you and also more fun is if you share your wins and struggles with other people who are going through the same process with you. We have a community, I'm gonna talk about the community later on, but I do want to encourage you to get in touch and share where you are right now. This will make learning way more easier and fun. Now, one thing to mention about fun is, if you're going through this and you find this hard, but you don't find this fun, this might be a note that maybe web design is not for you. And that's completely okay. By the way, I do think that if you go through this program and you realize and you have the insight of, you know what? this is not what I should be doing with my life, then I think you, you've still earned something because you realize what you shouldn't be doing. But I have the gut feeling that you will have time and you will figure out that going through this is actually worth it. All right, let's talk about what's included in this course. First of all, we've got videos. Obviously, you're watching one of them right now. But on top of that, under some of the videos, we have quizzes. And these quizzes, they're not a must. You don't have to do them. But they're a great way for you to validate that you've actually understood the concept that we covered in each video. Now, on top of that, we have a huge resource doc. And that doc is linked below this video. This doc will give you additional information and additional tools and resources on each of the topics that we cover in this program. It's also It also includes a huge master checklist, the complete web design checklist. And this is going to be a super valuable tool for you because this checklist corresponds to everything that we cover in this course. So every time that you're actually doing design work, you can review it using this checklist and validate whether you have applied the principles and concept that we have covered here. Now, going through this course, you will also have a course project that you can do, actually do while learning. And we're, we're gonna talk about this in the next video. As I've mentioned, we have community, we have support, we have live events. I'm gonna talk about that a little bit in depth 
later on. And on top of that, in the design skills model, we have some design skill exercises. Now again, this is a bonus, and this is one of the things that I've mentioned, that building these skills is a lifelong journey. And these exercises, they're kind of like workouts. So, you know, you never have to finish working out. It's always good for you to keep working out. So this is something that you can keep with you even after going through this program. You can keep doing these exercises to sharpen and build up skills where you feel like you need some you need some more exercise in now the course is structured in four basic parts the first part is the process so this just basically outlines every step of the process in the web design and process and the steps that you need to take this is five and a half hours of work and this is basically going to guide you from start to finish of the project now a good idea might be to do this while doing your project and then you can go through the process while working on your own project. The second module is actually the design skills. So as I mentioned, going through this process requires some design skills, obviously like things like mastering color or typography, layout, all these different concepts. And in the design skills module, that's basically like a lot of mini courses on each one of these topics. So that's going to be seven and a half hours of video and you can go through this and build up your skills. The third part is the client skills and those are basically the processes and the, and the tools that you need to go through to work um, and collaborate with your clients in a smooth and, and seamless kind of way and make sure that the project runs smoothly. And then the last one, we have kind of a bonus chapter about your portfolio. We want you to end this course with a portfolio that does you justice and represent you in the best way possible. So we're gonna help you set that up. So how much time and effort is uh, needed to go through this process? Well, this is a self-paced course, so you can actually determine how much you wanna put in, but I wanna give you kind of like how to think about this or suggestions. So first of all, you can just start out by watching the videos, right? If we total all the time of the videos, that's 14 and a half hours. So you can start off by doing this. You might, have, you might find that very valuable, but I think personally that doing while watching videos will make learning more effective for you. So based on what we know, if you wanna do the, the project that we suggest here, we estimate that's gonna take an extra 30 hours of your time. So together, it's probably something like 45 hours. Now, if you also want to update or create a new portfolio from scratch, that's another website. So that might be another 30 hours, depending if you're starting from scratch or if you're updating an existing portfolio. So you can look into something like 75 hours. And as I've mentioned, we also have the design skills. The design skills, people have told us that working on each one of these different skills can take up to 10 hours. So that can be a lot, right? You don't have to overwhelm yourself. You don't have to do all the exercises while watching through the, the program. I recommend going through the program first and coming back for the exercises later based on what you need. Now, there might be a few different strategies for how you go through this, right? If you're in a rush, if you just need something very particular right now, then you can just watch the videos and maybe do the, the, do the project later on. Um, if you enjoy learning while doing, which is what I recommend, then I think you should start working on the project as you're learning about the process and try to work in tandem with the different stages. And if you already have some experience and you just need, you, you just, feel like you need a specific help on different topics, then feel free to go through it in a non-linear way. Just pick the things that you think you need to work on and just start from there. It's all valid ways to go through this program. Now, I do think that the problem with self-paced courses is you're coming up with a lot of good intentions, but a lot of times life gets in the way and a lot of time people drop uh, you know, drop the course because they have other things going on in your life. And it's really important to have kind of an accountability to make sure that, because you've signed up and you've paid to go through this course. So you must want this to happen. And we have to find ways to, you know, convince ourselves to actually go through our commitment and accountability is a great way to do that. So the first step is I suggest putting time in your calendar to actually go through this. Make this something just like client work or just like going to the doctor. If it's in your calendar, you have to do it. And based on you know what you've decided, your strategy, that can be 
one day where you're, you know, reviewing two, three hours, that might be on your weekend, that might be nights or morning, whatever is comfortable for you, you best know how you can be effective, but start off by putting this regular time in your calendar to make sure that you consistently take action and keep the learning. Now, another thing that can be super, super helpful is finding an accountability partner, and you'll be able to do that within our community. Find somebody who is either in the same stage as, as you are, or maybe in the same location, and, and that'll be a great way for you to connect with people and to help keep yourself accountable. And as I mentioned earlier, if you share your work, if you share your progress and you're getting feedback from other people, that's gonna help keep you accountable and make sure that you are making progress. Now, let's take a minute to talk about our community and support. We have a, a team, a full team of expert coaches here to give you feedback on your work and help you go through um, the tough times and also give you feedback on the work that you did so you can understand what's working, what's not working, and what requires improvement. This is a key component in fast tracking your learning, getting feedback from other people. So I encourage you to join the community and take action and share. Um, there's two ways you can do this. Either there's a, a video in the, there's a, a button where you can click here on the learning platform um, and you can open up the community wherever you are while you're watching videos. There's also, you can just bookmark the, the domain community.fluxacademy.com and just have that as a website where you can just go in. In any way, make sure you take advantage of that. We have live calls, we have live workshops. Make sure that you're taking advantage of everything that we have to offer. All right, I'm very excited to start this journey with you. Let's do it.